Hey, how you guys doing? Um, I am going to show you guys how to create a paperless office um, where you can have metadata, you have a database system, you can find, you can search, you can break PDFs apart, you can convert them, uh, you can import mass data, um, you can travel and um, do a lot of different a lot of things uh, from your phone or your iPad um, all for under under 150 bucks so the first thing I wanted to to mention is some products and I'm not here to sell any products uh, this is just I'm just doing this on my own free will um, I mean, I I have done a lot of invoicing. I'm an accountant, um, and I've kind of throughout the years I've kind of figured out what what the best database systems are, what ones I like. Um, as an entrepreneur, I and I travel a lot, and I work at restaurants a lot, and I do I do a lot of work for my my, my place. Um, I just kind of wanted to do this quick little uh, video victor uh, video tutorial on how to, how I do it. Now, <clears throat> if you have a better solution than what I figured out, please let me know. But uh, I want to explain how I do it, and uh, please watch the whole video so you, you can kind of get the whole synopsis of uh, why I think it's such a great program or system. Um, the first thing that you'll need to get to do this 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 uh, paperless office is uh, I like to I just use Google Drive um, the Google Drive you download the Google Drive onto your desktop uh, you would have a sync bot a sync button button that looks like this right here and uh, you can sync this uh, to the Google Drive so as you know um, they'll have a folder like this right here. And uh, that's your Google Drive on your desktop. Um, then the next program that I recommend is a program called Paperport. Um, it looks like this. I'm going to exit out of here. It's loading right now. Mom, my desktop is so messy. I got to clean it up. Loading, loading, loading. Come on, come on, come on. Paperport Professional 14 is the name. And uh, I got this program for, I believe it was 69 bucks. And it just, this program is mind blowing to me. I, I love it. Maybe it just works with my brain. Um, <clears throat> so, what you would do is you would get this program at 60, I think it's 69 bucks. I have it on multiple computers. And you would go to tools and then you would go to folder manager and then you would add and you would add the Google Drive now you just don't go to your desktop and add Google Drive you need to go to users owners and documents under the C drive like it says right here to properly sync this to your uh, your, your uh, paperless office okay so then you would you would need to do some little bit of work on this side, the left side, to just have your, your documents in the Google Drive. I just like to have it synced to the Google Drive. I don't like anything else in this paper port. I just like the my uh, my I like the Google Drive or some type of uh, um, cloud based software that would sync directly to this, this paper port. Okay. And so the next step that you'd want to do is you want to format the files. So you can see the files like this. Um, I really like the fact that right here it has the page numbers. Um, I can see the first page or the pages that I'm turning right here. Like right here I can see. Uh, to do this you would go to desktop, desktop options, and you would check, do check marks on all these uh, boxes here. Another thing is you'll have to download uh, Adobe D, uh, 
DC, uh, or you have if you have Adobe Professional, those types of things. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna show you another one as well. But uh, you'll need to have that, and then you'll need to change these to program associated with file, program associated with file type, program associated with file type. Um, you can you can convert this into an all in search one as well, but it doesn't work that well. And I just use the I go down here on the uh, to actually to the to Google Drive um, right here, and uh, Google Drive is a little bit better job. So if I'm if I need to find something specific like within the documents, I'll just go to here and then type in a number, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so this will create the layout kind of like how it is like here. So once you get that all set up, um, um, whatever you stick in here will go to your Google Drive. Whatever, whatever you stick in your Google Drive will go into go into this uh, into your server, your your document manager. So it's very powerful. Um, as you can see here, I have tons of files. All right, this is my AA clearing file. This is what I'm working on as of today. Tomorrow I'll uh, clear out all of these, and I'll have a huge another set of uh, documents that I have to work with. Um, just to just to note, um, there's some of the companies I work with. I have like 350 companies. And uh, like friends, this is my biggest company that I work with, Coyote. All right, so these are all my files. Um, and what I'll do is, when I'm done, uh, when I'm done with the files, I'll just drag and drop uh, them into here. And to add files, all you would do is go to your Google Drive, right-click, create new fo uh, new folder, and then you would name it, and then you could drag and drop. Uh, your files. So this is my clearing file. So essentially, this is the stack of papers on your desk that you have to deal with, that you need to work with. So it's just changing that mindset of not having paper, but having a clearing folder that needs to be cleared every day. So that's how I work with it. So now, so now you uh, can see uh, that you have this, this 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 section that you need to work with, right? So how do you work with stuff? All right, some features that I really like about this program is, for instance, um, see these little, see this right here is PDF, these little squiggly things. This has been converted into metadata. And let's just say you have a normal PDF. What you can do is you can just right click, save as, right here, searchable PDF image. Yes, we'll convert it into a searchable PDF. And I, I did mention to you that I would show you how to find things very quickly. Now, let's let's say uh, you're looking for something like a, a certain word in a document. Since this has been converted into metadata, you can find that. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm just going to open it up with uh, crappy DC. Uh, Adobe Acrobat. Okay, so now it's in metadata. You can you can cut and paste this into let's say let's say you have a third party uh, software like QuickBooks or you need to create invoices or you need to do something with the PDF. So you can cut cut and paste it. It works great when you have multiple monitors. You can just cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. But let's just say you're trying to look for something. So what you would do is you would go here into your Google Drive. You get 15 megabytes for free, and if you want to upgrade, um, you can get 100 megabytes uh, for 20 bucks. I think a year or something like that. I, I have uh, I have the upgraded version. Um, I think Google Drive is great because I can work with it on my phone, iPad. It just it's just very user friendly for me. So it's loading now. Um, so once you're in your, once you're in the Google Drive, uh, you just Control V under here, and 
need to find something, right? Control B. Booyah, right there. All right, so this right here is the exact same file as this. Okay, and this is in my this is in my um, um, document manager. Uh, you can search through your document manager, but it it just seems like Google the Google Drive works much better. Um, all this data here is not going to be read by the Google Drive. It's not going to be read by uh, your document management system. It's all based on the size of the font. So if it's really small font, maybe maybe this won't appear if you were looking for it. So just 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 to note, like all this stuff right here is good. So that is the the Google Drive syncing with the document management system here. Um, also, um, one thing I really like about this program is you can move things around and you can have it sync to the, the front like this. But also, um, you can right click and you can unstack all pages. So those two four pages, two out of four, it's just, they've just been broken up to uh, four pages here. One, two, three, four. You can see them highlighted. Uh, so, and you can stack them like this. Oh, shoot. Uh, it's, it's showing it's in a, in a uh, it's already open in another folder. So, I'm going to just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these. Control E that. And then I'm going to delete. Delete these, excuse me. You can hit control and then just highlight them like uh, most of you know how to do that already. Just delete those. So now you have these four folders of uh, files and you can you can stack them, see? That's the ah, uh, that can't be right. I just did that. Okay, yeah, it's working now. I don't know what the deal is. So now you have four folders, but now, now it's. I'm going to go back to this and show you some more advanced stuff. But uh, that's something that's very important to me because what I do is I use my phone and I take pictures of invoices or uh, you know documents with my phone. I'll just take a picture of my hand here. Let's say hi. So I just took a picture of my hand, and I go to I go to a program called Can Scanner, and you can email this or upload it to your Google Drive. I'm gonna upload this to my Google Drive. So hopefully you can see this. Just do PDF. Show this a PDF drive. My drive a loads save upload. So this is being uploaded here. It should pop up here any second, depending on the internet speed. Hi guys, there you go. There's that. Hi. Okay. So I can take this and I can stack that on any of these folders. Excuse me, files. Um, so that's that's something cool. That's that's what you can do. You can scan in here. Uh, if you have, I use what is called a Fujitsu 
scanner. It's an optical character recognition scanner. Uh, what it does is it also scans barcodes. And let's say you have 30 invoices and you want to separate 30 invoices in one scan. What you can do is you can create a cover page and that cover page has a barcode. Uh, and you can create the barcode using Excel, let's just say a name, and it will read the barcode, it will separate the 30 different invoices, and it will delete the first page, and it will save it as, um, it will actually save it as the file name in a specific folder. And so, literally, you could separate 30, 30 invoices, name them, and put it in a folder in literally one minute. And you could do that through this system as well. Um, I think maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. That's pretty cool. Um, you can convert these to like Excel. Like it, let's say you have numbers, you can just highlight it and hit this Excel button. You can highlight it and hit Word. Um, I have a faxing system where um, using Outlook. So if we shrink this down here and we uh, do need let's see. Um, you can you can drag and drop these here like this. And then um, if you have a fax system, um, you can just type the fax number that you want, and this will be faxed. So another thing, you can, you can have multiple folders, drag and drop, fax directly from this spot here. This would actually fax it. This would be the cover page here, and then it would fax, fax these documents. Well, that's if you do faxes. Um, so we talked about stacking, metadata, searchable text, um, breaking up PDFs, how to sync the Google Drive, uh, drag and drop out of Outlook, iPhone integration, iPad integration. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced and do signatures. As you can see, I deal with a lot of PDFs. Um, if you want to do it almost for free, pretty much for free, uh, you could just download uh, Adobe uh, DC. And let's open this up and I'll show you. Uh, under comments, you would create a stamp. And here's your stamps here. So you would hit stamps, you custom stamps, create, you'd browse. Um, the thing about uh, Acrobat DC is you have to create a signature using uh, Adobe which is very limited because it's not uh, transparent so it's one of those things where if you really want to do a professional job because if, if you have if you have a signature I'll, I'll show you and it's there's a white if it's a white background uh, I'll show you See, like right here. See how it cuts the box? Um, it's not that professional. Um, but you can you can do uh, initials, and check marks. Um, you can insert text. Insert text. Uh, well, you can insert text. There you go. Uh, whatever. 
Okay. Um, so that's that's something cool about this. It's it's a decent program. Um, but if you want to get a little bit more advanced, which which I am, and the reason why I'm more advanced is because my signatures. I really care about having a good signature, and I care about um, also being able to import mass amounts of data into a, uh, a PDF to autofill a whole application or uh, let's say I had a 50 page page that needed to be filled out in one minute I could do it and I'll show you how to do that in a second but let's talk about these signatures so what I, I use a program called um, it's called Adobe uh, Power PDF, and uh, let me show you how to. Uh, it's, it's opening Adobe's. I mean Acrobat still. Let's see. Open with Nuance Power PDF Advanced. So let me, let me show you a how to do a signature in here. That's how I do it. I'll just hit this uh, stamp button here. And it will, I, you just kind of, you can create the size and it will actually go through the dock. See that line that goes through, it's transparent. And to do that, you do the same thing. You just click here uh, or hit this create right here. Create. And then you would you would find the signature and then you could actually create the you could actually create a transparent signature directly from this without doing any uh, special graphics. Um, but it's important to note that when you do a transparent signature. Uh, you need to print it, uh, print it as a PDF, and overlay it and save it, so it prints over the, the signature. And you can actually do some tricks as well. But anyways, that's that's how you would do a signature in this program. Um, also. The thing I really like about this Power PDF is this this button here. Um, it lays it out. So if you think about it, you have a program here, and then see these five pages. You can go inside the five pages, and you can work actually work inside the five pages. signatures um, you can insert text um, you can move different pages. Let's let's say you stack stuff and you don't want to unstack and then try to figure out how to stack. Uh, in this program you could take, you can go inside the program and just move things like this. Just take this. Move it. Boom, you're done. You can make it smaller. So this this is the first page here. Okay. And it does a lot of different things, but those are the main things I like about it. All right, and so also, um, let's say you have a packet that you have to fill out that has like you need to put all your company information on this packet, um, and you do this a lot. You need to fill out a lot of paperwork. You're just tired of 
typing and typing and typing all the same stuff over and over and over. Um, what you can do um, is if you get the Power PDF, You can go to um, one thing I really like about this. You go to forms, you get a form typer, and what it will do is it will create, it will recognize all the boxes um, that need to be filled. Like for instance, uh, let's see here in a second. Computer's going slow for some reason. It's probably because of the, this recording. But uh, okay, so this is the right one. All right. So you, what you would do essentially, you would you would go to forms, and you would do form recognition. So you'd go to forms, form typer. So you click on that. That would that would, that would recognize this document, and it would scan it, and it would find all all the areas that need to be filled. So like right here. <clears throat> I sign a lot of paperwork. I do a lot of stuff like this. So it would find these lines here. Maybe it highlight fields. Okay. And so what you could do is hit this little import button, and then you would import data. And it would fill in the entire document saving you who knows how long you know how, how long it would take to, to fill out this document but uh, as you can see this is a nine page document and it's filled in a bunch of stuff uh, so maybe what I would do is just add some signatures then print it off and be done so literally uh, some people it could take an hour to do it could take me literally 30 seconds, a minute to do. So that's something that you can do to speed up um, your your paperless office. Um, so those are some of the things, basic things that you can have to have a very efficient uh, paperless office. Uh, I, I really like this setup. I for me, it just clicks in my brain. I have all my I have all my carriers here, or all my customers. I can see all my documents. Uh, I can stack. I can break up. I can import masses amount of data. I can sign. I can fax. I can email. Uh, I can convert. Um, I can even um, import from my phone. I can add stuff here, it can be in my phone, I can add stuff here, it can be in my, my, uh, my database system. And so there's a lot of cool things that uh, I really like about this system. Um, you, can, you can scan, um, you can do a lot of cool things. But uh, I hope, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and that you learned something and maybe, maybe you'll use some of the things that I use. And uh, you have a great day. Peace out.